Welcome back, Linux enthusiasts. Big news just hit the open source community, and it's a game changer for the Gnome Foundation. In a groundbreaking development, Genome has secured a massive 1 million euro grant from the Sovereign Tech Fund, supported by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action. This significant investment is set to reshape the future of the GNOME platform, fueling advancements in tooling, accessibility, and public interest features. Join me as we delve into the details of this exciting announcement and what it means for the Linux desktop ecosystem. For over a quarter century, the Genome Foundation has been a linchpin in the open source and Linux desktop landscape. Now, with this substantial financial boost, the foundation is gearing up for a major overhaul of the GNOME platform. The Sovereign Tech Fund's recognition of GNOME's pivotal role in the tech community is not only a nod to its past contributions, but a forward-looking investment in its future. Let's break down the key aspects of this one million grant and what it aims to achieve. The grant will be instrumental in improving the current state of accessibility within the GNOME desktop environment. This includes designing and prototyping a new accessibility stack, ensuring that the platform becomes more user-friendly and inclusive. Individual encryption of user home directories is on the agenda, enhancing the security and privacy of GNOME users. Modernizing secret storage is also a key project, fortifying the platform against potential vulnerabilities. The grant aims to increase the range and quality of hardware support, a crucial step in ensuring that GNOME remains versatile and adaptable to a wide array of devices. This move underscores a commitment to technological diversity within the open source ecosystem. Investing in quality assurance and developer experience is a clear signal that the foundation is not just focused on end users, but is also prioritizing the individuals who write the code. This will undoubtedly contribute to a smoother development process and a more polished final product. The plan to expand and broaden free desktop APIs is a forward-looking initiative, creating a more robust framework for developers to build upon. This not only benefits current projects, but sets the stage for future innovation and collaboration. Consolidating and improving platform components is a strategic move to streamline the GNOME environment. This will likely lead to a more cohesive and efficient user experience. It's important to note the emphasis on the human element in open source. The grant announcement gives special recognition to key contributors Tobias Bernard and Sonny Piers from the GNOME project. This acknowledgement reinforces the collaborative and community-driven nature of open source development. The timing of this generous grant, coinciding with Holly Million's recent appointment as the new CEO of the GNOME Foundation, adds an intriguing narrative layer to the story. Whether by chance or destiny, the organization's narrative seems to unfold like a storybook. Nevertheless, the funding represents a leap forward, not just for the GNOME project, but for the Linux desktop community as a whole. In conclusion, the one million grant from the Sovereign Tech Fund marks a turning point for the GNOME Foundation and the Linux desktop ecosystem. This injection of funds signifies a commitment to innovation, accessibility, and security within the open source community. As we look forward to the developments slated until the end of 2024, it's evident that this generous grant is poised to elevate Genome to new heights. Congratulations to the Genome Foundation and a big shout out to the Sovereign Tech Fund for recognizing the importance of supporting open source. Stay tuned for an exciting era of accelerated development and innovation in the world of Linux desktops. That's it for this one, and as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe.